Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bosch. The number of clean diesel models in North America will double by 2014. Bosch Clean Diesel. Good. Clean. Fun. Bridgestone. Your journey. Our passion. Dow Automotive Systems. Improving durability and increasing design flexibility with Betamate structural adhesives at DowBetamate.com. And by the 2013 Hyundai Sonata. Learn more at HyundaiSonata.com. Hello and welcome to AutoLine Daily. I'm John McElroy and here's the news. Say, why should you park your car for eight or nine hours at work every day and just leave it sitting there? Maybe some of you would like to have your car pay for itself. That's why GM's OnStar is teaming up with a company called Relay Rides, which offers what is called a peer-to-peer car sharing marketplace. The service allows car owners to rent out their car when it's not being used. Renters reserve a car and unlock it using their smartphone and OnStar. An owner can potentially earn hundreds of dollars a month renting out his or her car. By signing up with Relay Rides, car owners automatically get a $1 million insurance policy, while renters are covered with a $300,000 policy. OnStar says that sharing one car leads to 13 other cars coming off the road, leading to less traffic. BMW will start selling its X1 CUV in the U.S. this fall. BMW has not sold the X1 in the U.S. up to now because it says its plant in Leipzig, Germany could not keep up with demand in other markets. But a new plant in China is freeing up demand and that will allow BMW to start shipping X1s to the U.S. Last week, General Motors essentially fired its head of Opel and its European operations, Carl Friedrich Straka. Now Reuters reports that GM is expecting to name Thomas Sedran, who currently heads operations, business development, and corporate strategy at Opel, as the CEO, but only on an interim basis. Sedran previously worked at Alex Partners, the corporate restructuring company. Toyota is going to drop the four-cylinder engine for the 2013 Sienna in the U.S. market and will only offer the 3.5-liter V6. Well, no wonder. The four only delivered one more mile per gallon than the much more powerful V6, which gets 18 MPGs in the city and 25 on the highway. The 2013 Sienna gets a few upgrades and a starting price just over $26,000. Geez, the news at Lotus is just going from bad to worse, and now it will be a no-show at the Paris Auto Show this fall. You know, something tells me we are soon going to see Lotus up for sale once again. Nissan unveiled its new Global B segment hatchback today. The company says it wants to make the Note the most user-friendly car in the segment. It includes Nissan's around view mirror, an invention that makes reversing and parking easier. Power plants for the Note include naturally aspirated and supercharged three-cylinder engines with stop-start technology. Nissan's information on the Note lacked specific numbers for many statistics, including fuel economy and engine output, and there were no numbers about the transmission either, but that's because the Note comes with a CVT. Say, speaking of stop-start technology, Sure sounds like it would be very easy to add to a car, but it's actually a lot trickier than you might think. And we'll show you what we're talking about right after this. Clean diesel models in North America will double by 2014. Why? Higher take rates, lower cost of ownership, longer range and better fuel mileage, lower CO2 emissions. Clean diesel, good, economical, functional. Bosch, invented for life. Dan Cap the director of powertrain research at the Ford Motor Company was on Autoline After Hours last month and talked about stop-start technology. While conceptually it sounds easy to do, there's actually a lot of technology used to make the system as seamless as possible. I've driven a number of cars where I didn't like the stop-start. You come to a stop and it starts again and it sends a shutter through the car or you're coming up to a stop, you're out of the gas for a while, you're braking, the engine stops, it shuts off, and then all of a sudden, I need the power right now, I gotta go, yeah, yeah. and there's a hesitation. And it may only be measured in milliseconds, but it doesn't feel good. We've put uh, 
a tremendous effort into developing the start-stop offering that, that you know, hopefully you'll get to experience on the, on the Fusion with the 1.6 uh, EcoBoost. Uh, obviously, it's on the road in Europe. It's a little bit easier with a manual transmission, right, right where you switch it off in yeah. neutral. So <laughs> there are certainly those challenges in doing it with an automatic, and, and those challenges are, are twofold. Um, our North American customer lifts their foot off the brake and smashes the gas and expects a torque response. And so we set for ourselves very stringent targets that say no compromise. It has to respond that quickly. And it has to do so as you start the engine without a torque pulse that goes through the drive line when you're stopped in gear and gives you that, that jolt. And, and we think we've come up with some, some very clever solutions to those challenges. Of course, one of those is the, uh, the synergy you get with direct injection, and that's why we're offering it on our EcoBoost engine, because you can actually do a form of direct or compression start you know, by just injecting fuel, and, and we can manage the, the torque rise as, that, uh, as the engine fires. Is that what you're going to do, really? Use yeah. uh, the injector, or you, you know, which cylinders at top dead center, put some gas in there, light it off, and start the engine that way? Well, I mean, it's a starter assist, you know, to get it positioned, but we can, uh, we can certainly increase that time, and we can do multiple injections and manage the flare, because literally that first couple of events is at wide open throttle, right? You're at atmospheric pressure, and that's why you get that big torque bump. So, so we've managed that with a number of strategies working together, but the, the startup is, is certainly a part of that. By the way, check out that episode 153 of Autoline After Hours. Dan Cap has a lot of really good information about where powertrain technology is headed. And speaking of Autoline After Hours, my guest this Thursday night is Joe Lewanek, the head of all marketing and advertising at General Motors. This is going to be a great show. So join me and the auto extremist Peter DeLorenzo for some of the best insider discussion in the automotive business. And that brings us to the end of today's report. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.